Hey everybody, to celebrate the release of The Mandalorian today exclusively on Disney+, Plus, I thought it'd be fun if we built and reviewed this new LEGO Star Wars ATST Raider. This is the only LEGO Mandalorian set they currently have. So first off, we're going to go over a little review of it, and at the end we're going to do a time lapse of me actually building this entire set. So, this is the box. It's a pretty big box. The whole set is ages 8 plus, it is number 75254, it is called the ATST Raider, it has 540 pieces, and you will get 4 minifigures with this set. You will actually get the Mandalorian himself, you're going to get Cara Dune, the Claytonian Raider, and you get 2 of them, 2 separate minifigures here. But all these characters are going to be part of the Mandalorian TV show, like I said it's available on Disney Plus starting today. And this is the Lego set that goes along with it. This is the only one, I'm a little disappointed in that, that there's only one Lego set to go alongside this TV show. But then again, we do have The Rise of Skywalker coming out next month. So pretty much the rest of their winter lineup is dedicated to The Rise of Skywalker. So I would still like to see more Mandalorian sets. But um, they probably also don't want to give away too much with the Lego sets. As The Mandalorian is going to be coming out week by week rather than being able to binge it all at once. So this Lego set retails for $49.99 US, although Amazon is currently having a sale on it for $39.99, and that's usually about the price you can find it in stores like Target, Walmart, and other retailers like that. You can usually find it for about $10 off than the retail price. And once again, it has 540 pieces. It is number 75254, and it's called the ATST Raider. It is the Mandalorian Collectible All Terrain Scout Transport Walker. So now let's get into our actual review of this set. So here it is in action. This is the ATST, and here are the minifigures that you get from it. So this was actually a fairly easy build. It did take me a little while, although I haven't built a Lego set in years. But overall, not a very hard set to build. It did say it was 8 plus. So, I mean, pretty much anybody can really build this set. You just follow the instructions and you're good. But inside the ATST here, we've got a little bit of detail in here. We do have a weapon as well as kind of a central terminal for whoever to activate and actually operate this walker. These sides don't really move that much, but it does give the angle here that we have going on for the ATST. And this top flap actually comes up. So, this is actually how you get minifigures inside the set but it also has another little mini door here where if you have, want to have somebody sitting in there but you want to have the door open the little latch open you can actually see the minifigures inside there although it is hard to actually get minifigures sitting inside there from this angle and that's why it can actually open up like this now the ATST can only turn a little bit it cannot turn all the way around it will be able to turn just about 180 degrees you can also adjust these little flaps above where I guess like the visor would be where you can actually see out of it. You can adjust these to whatever angle you want. I believe the film version has them all the way up. You can also adjust the little gun here, the turret going on, as well as the angle of some of these side ones. Pretty cool details they have going on. That's something that really impressed me with the set overall, is just a lot of the detail. There are a lot of stickers, so if you're somebody like me who gets a little nervous around putting stickers on Legos, then this set is going to have a lot of them, so watch out for that. But it does add a little bit more detail to the set overall. This whole right leg of the ATST is red, and this other one is brown. Pretty cool. It also can kind of walk, although it is mostly, in my opinion, just for show. It's kind of meant just to be stationary. You can also turn the ATST with this little knob back here. It will pivot the head. And then also on the back of the ATST, we have these little things that you can actually push. If I show you guys down here, right there, you guys can see that it will actually launch these out. So let me show you guys that right here. So all you have to do is just push on the back of this one, all the way back here, the ATSD, and it shoots out pretty fast and kind of a cool little addition to the ATSD. It's also pretty easy to load them back in, but one of my favorite parts of the set is just the detail going on on the ATST's left leg. You have what looks like just cables running down this. They just hook into various different parts of the leg. 
and just give it that much more character going on here and just kind of makes it look like kind of a, a run down ATST, which I guess is what they're going for because it is an ATST Raider. So it's not like an Imperial ATST where it's been, you know, upkept. This is something that's been kind of stolen and modified and a whole bunch of stuff done to it. That's why we have one red leg and one brown leg rather than it being like gray all the way through. But overall, the ATST is really cool. The minifigures are probably my favorite part about this because we get the Mandalorian. So here he is. Here is the Mandalorian himself. Pretty cool. He comes with a cape. There's no printing or anything on that. But overall, Mandalorian, really cool minifigure. And this is the only set currently that you can actually get the Mandalorian in. And it's kind of fun that you'll be able to kind of reenact the TV show with this minifigure in the set. And I'm also kind of curious as to see when this will actually show up in the TV show. Next up, we have Cara Dune. Here's another character. She is most likely a protagonist as well, but kind of cool minifigure. New character from the Mandalorian TV show, and the minifigure is pretty cool as well. And then the last two minifigures we get are these new Clatoonian Raiders. I'm not exactly sure how you pronounce that. We're going to find out with the TV show. But these two new Raiders here, and uh, they're most likely the antagonists in the TV show. Pretty cool. You got this guy. He doesn't have any helmet sort of thing on. He has something going around by his neck, but really cool minifigure. Kind of cool green uh, ish like yellowish pants some sort of like light green pants going on there I believe that's also a new Lego piece and we also get a second guy this guy's a little bit different they both I believe share the exact same minifigure head but this guy has a helmet on he also has like some sort of spike thing going on by his neck and he has two little pistols in his hand whereas this guy has some sort of rifle or sniper rifle something like that but Pretty cool, four minifigures, not too bad for a set that retails for $50, but you can easily find it for $40. Personally, I would like to see more minifigures in this set, although I think that the inclusion of some of these really cool characters like the Mandalorian, Cara Dune, and these two Raiders are a good choice, and I feel like for the price for $40 or $50, whoever you manage to pick it up as, I think it is definitely worth purchasing. Overall, it's a great set. And it's just a, a nice novelty piece to have, to have alongside watching the TV show, as well as also for playing while you're watching the TV show. So this will be really fun to watch The Mandalorian on Disney Plus and actually see when the ATST Raider shows up, and also see some of these characters as well, like Cara Dune, Mandalorian, and some of these Clatonian Raiders as well. But that is this new LEGO set, the LEGO Star Wars ATST Raider, the Mandalorian collectible all-terrain scout transport walker, Pretty cool set. If you guys are interested in picking this up, I would suggest doing so. Like I said, I think Amazon is the best place to get it because it's currently on sale. Amazon usually has these things for on sale, but that is the best place you're probably going to be able to get it right now. I'll have a link in the description where you guys can check that out on Amazon. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys want to see more content like this one, let me know in the comments down below. And now we're going to be doing a time lapse of me actually assembling the entire set. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.